Prism Engineer doing another install. This is on an Airlift T-Series wall fan for an attic in my garage. Let me know if you have any questions. Let's get right into it. Thanks for watching. Hey there everyone. Thought I'd do a quick video of how to, I guess, install an attic fan in a garage attic and how to know if it's actually running and how much it's running. Um, so this was the Airlift T-Series and uh, it's about 10 inch by 10 inch and it's a 10 inch fan. Um, the model is ACALT10. And <clears throat> I guess I'll go outside and give kind of a overview of what it looks like. I just installed it yesterday and it turned out really nice. It went right up there at the top of my rafters, right below them, and it's got aluminum aluminum flappers that will shut, and we're living near the ocean here, and it doesn't seem to blow them open. But let me open the attic, which is right here. where it goes it's all installed and what I'm gonna do because I don't know if it runs or not I can tell if I look outside but I'd like to know if it is actually running how long throughout the day so my thought is I'm a big fan of wise and I use a lot of their cameras and stuff I'm going to use a wise smart plug and so I can gauge it on my phone. And so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in right now. So the best part about this, I really like the construction of the fan. Actually, quick overview of how that um, installed. It was really simple. Just use the template, cut out on the outside, and then screw it to my sheathing. Pretty painless. Um, just let my temperature sensor dangle kind of in the middle of the attic um, it's got a lot of cool features if maybe this is the attic of your home um, it's easy to operate so I have a high temp at a hundred it will click on if I want to use a low temp um, this is an auto mode there's a low temp I have it set to off high humidity low humidity you can have a high temp setting alarm um, so now it's just on at setting 10 you can change settings um, I'll show you it actually powering up really efficient and it's quiet so this is right up to power of 10 Sorry. All right there. We'll go one up to ten. Super quiet. Um, you know, no. This isn't advice, but you could always have an electrician tap into a a light fixture from above in your attic, do a wall mount plug, and that pretty much would allow you to plug this, it's plug and play essentially. Um, so now, I was gonna show you, I have, the, I have the app on my phone. Let's see if we can do this. So here's my phone app. I'm gonna to go to Wise. I have quite a few other cameras and things going on. So now I have that outlet plugged in. I'm gonna click on that. It's on. And I can tell the runtime that it that it does throughout the day. 
so I can turn it off Heard the fan go off and I just turn it back on and the nice part about here let's do that again off on it has settings that are kept at, at what it uh, originally was last plugged in at so now I can see its runtime throughout the day all the way in the a.m. the p.m. average throughout the days so pretty easy way to I guess get a smart system just to analyze and understand how much you're using you could use these wise plugs anywhere just to know like a sump pump to know if it is running how long how much um, a downfall it does not say how much power it uses um, so like a variable light that uses different powers in a dimmer um, you wouldn't be able to tell that but this fan uses 50 watts whenever it's running so I can easily back calculate from my time to how many watts it uses a day so Hope this helps and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions. Um, this is just a quick and cheap and easy way to uh, try and understand and be more efficient with your home. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later.